Alright yo, what is up you guys? This is Romeo from Double R Games back with another video and live stream actually. And today, uh, as you guys all know, Xenobra Xenobrain, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launched today. And I figured I would do a, like, a gameplay for you guys. And I just went to go pick it up at Best Buy like maybe an hour ago. And I just got back, I finished setting up and everything. And yeah. And um, before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you like, if you're not already, and if you already are, even if you aren't already, like this video, and yeah, we shall have a good time trying to get through this game. This might actually be one of my longer live streams, but eh, whatever. All right, excuse me for a minute. I need to pull up the Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, yeah, like my gameplay, so I can respond to you guys. All right, guys. So I see my friend um, Francisco there. Alright, so let's get started. New game. Let's go, you guys. I, guys, like, I, when I learned about this game, I learned about it, like, maybe two weeks ago. Well, more, more than two weeks ago, actually. But I wasn't too really excited for it until, like, I saw, like, a story mode trailer. But, um, yeah. Nintendo. Okay. What is this? Oof. I'm sorry if I might get a little glitchy, monolith stuff or whatever. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Let's go, you guys. Alright, so we see all these clouds here. Okay. So, where is this going, actually? I don't really even know. Let's see. And if I didn't already have a Splatoon 2 Pro Controller, then I would have tried to bring you guys an unboxing of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Pro Controller, but I'm happy. I love my Splatoon 2 Pro Controller. Original concept. Monolith Soft Nintendo. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what's that thing that's right there? I'm confused. Scenario. Tetsuya T Takahashi. Each oh, my bad. I couldn't finish that. Dang it, I can't find the remote to put the volume up on my TV. Okay, so... I guess my character guy is in the water or something. I don't really know. Main character designed by... Masatsugo, Masatsugu, something I, I didn't I didn't read. And if you guys didn't know about like this about this game, it's it's like in the anime art style, which I do not mind at all. And it's in Japanese, I believe. I think you have to pay for like different things, so it's um in um English. But I like the Japanese language, and um I don't know. I've like heard the Eng like the English voices. Uh, yeah. They're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just leave it there. Okay. So, I'm still in the water. I don't get it. I don't really understand. And I'm mad! Where is my TV remote? Why not? Where is it? Alright, so we're going back up, I think, about the surface. Okay, so now it's just white light. Directors, Ko, Kojima, Genki, Yokuda. Oh, wait, that's a character from Boruto. Genki? Oh, no, Denki, my bad. Um. Hmm. Executive director, Tetsuya Takahashi. Wait, is that Rex? Yeah, I think that's Rex. You guys didn't know anything about this game. That's the main character, Rex. We really do need to buy ourselves. Oh, wait, this is in English? Oh, man. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. Dang. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? Dang, he has it such a deep solid. voice. And this Did dude has like a weird English voice. Much? Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Hmm. Honestly, it takes, Honestly, it takes two you two days. days actually, I'm not gonna say anything because these characters are actually talking like, what? What in the world? The what the heck is. What? 
Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, dragon I'm in thing. the salvaging trade for the cash. And little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. Okay. Kind of confused. Wait, what? What in the world is that? I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing this time. What in the world? Bricks. No worries, Gramps. Well, I don't see how he's related to him. I actually like, kind of like the voice character, you know like the voice much. actor that they did for Rex. <laughs> oh, my mom found their remote. <laughs> All right, wait. What, what are we gonna do? Battle or something? Time to earn your lunch. To in initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. To draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting an enemy to display the target. Just press R. Okay. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. In incidentally, you can also sheath your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's simple as holding down R and pressing B. If you approach a targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? This it, it then it's your time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. What do I do? I don't remember. Okay, time to take you down. Wait, what do I do again? Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each yeah. blow. When in the world? What the heck? I don't remember what to do. Hey! Hey! What, what in the world? Yeah! What just happened? Ah! This is weird. I've never played a game like this before. Yeah, auto attack. Let's go, my boy. Yeah. I'm gonna just stay here and just wait yeah. for him to kill him. Take a look at the icons in the lower right of the screen. Went. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distinct from auto attacks. These icons are laid out like the controller button, so just press the corresponding button to use one. After using art, you'll have to wait until the re recharge gauge surrounding the icon has refilled before you can use it again. The, re the recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack enemies. Try pressing X now to let rip with Rex's anchor shot art. Okay. Anchor shot. What in the world? The enemy just dropped something. This is called an. This item is called an HP potion. Maneuver Rex to the HP potion to pick it up, and it'll restore some of his HP. Some arts, like Anchor Shot, will always cause the enemy to drop an HP potion. So you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage, or save them when you need bonuses like the HP boost. Consider your arts tactics used carefully. Why not? Nice. The auto attacks? Yeah. Ha. What do I do? Ow. Uh. Hey, get away from me! I st I'm still, I still for, I, I forgot what to do. Um. Oh wait. What did I just do to, to draw the weapon? Oh. Auto attack, come on. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Nice. Alright, so you drop some monies or something. Loading. Chapter one. Encounters. An entire, entire wait, why am I reading? A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree. Piercing the heavens. This this is the world we call home. I'm so confused. All I don't rest. understand what that thing is. So we're in Allrest right now. When the world was young, everyone in Allrest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. Okay. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land, and the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that Dang. paradise. Dang, people are crazy. Elysium. Got some plants right there. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. What was it then? Only Just tell me. We were forced to leave Elysium 
to live here in all rest. Dang. Where it turns out life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us. Of course he did. Sending his servants. The Titans. So is that a Titan or something? The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And Oh, so I guess it is a Titan. It's above the clouds, I guess that's how big it is. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. Dang. Is he just talking to himself this whole time? What is that? Like, is it? Like, that's that monster thing that I killed, right? The brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. That's like a giant leg or something. How are you just touching that? What the heck? You're just eating it like that. You're not even chewing on anything. It's like 2K glitches. Hey! It's my friend Francisco. He's playing Splatoon 2 right now. If you guys want to see more of those videos, drop a like. Okay, I guess this is another Titan? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm still not sure what any of this stuff is. What's the point in that scuba helmet, though? Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if they had been, they would have all left. By How now. would they have left by now? Makes sense. Oh, you mean like die? Maybe I don't know. Hey, Gramps. Do you think Fonset Village will be gone too one day? It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. Dang. And you I don't too. know if that's his hometown or something. That's how it goes with us. Okay, titans. so yes, they are titans. Those things are yeah, super detailed. No way around it. Dang. Eventually. And if you guys actually want to buy this game, the then, um... You gotta make sure you have a lot of um. So, you Titans were born. What's it called? Like memory, like right? storage on your Switch. So if like this is the only game you're gonna buy, then you'll be fine. But this game does take up quite a bit. Mind you, I was born here on All Rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium, and the Creator, who said to live there? A land of plenty. Land of plenty. The world tree. Wait, so where is this world tree? If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live if in only. peace. If only. Could all live in peace. No I probably wouldn't even need to be going on this story thing. <laughs> this would be fun, though. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. Where if is this Fonset? can see us now. I wonder what he thinks. Oh, so that's the world tree. That kind of reminds me of the world tree from SAO. And, well, you guys probably don't know what that is, but, um, it's an anime that, um, has this, oh, it's like a RPG MMO thing, like a virtual reality. Um, yeah. I don't know why I brought that up, but okay. All right. Back to making money. Hey, let's make some of that good green stuff. Make that good old money. Actually, wait, no, it's not green stuff. It's, it's coins. Oi, Gramps. Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Wow. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Of course, Kids like, do you, I can't believe that thing said, no respect, oh my gosh, I it's swear. almost bedtime, Did, wow. So loading, what is that cube? I know I've, I saw that in the trailer, I don't know what it is though, I forgot what it's called. Hmm, yeah, I don't know.
Wait, so I see a little weird creature thing. So it's like a marketplace where people are selling stuff. And there aren't that many people. What the heck? Argentum Trade Guild. Okay. That's a weird animal thing, like Titan or whatever. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right. Elsa wouldn't be here. They chose be some. Point? So, like, which they one chose a whole bunch of different accents for this one, I think. Shouldn't be too long. Well, for this game. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. It's just in gold hey, a lot. I don't really even you know. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time? Alright, so the, I guess there no, are other people here. I'm afraid. Wait, what? He has no Fingers. wallet, no money figures. What? Wait, what? Okay. Awesome. Okay. This Wait, looks that's huge. like a looks kind of reminds me of a bullet ship. train. Wait, so it's a Titan ship? Okay. Shout out to my. The people who are watching this, you tech Pia, my friend Eric from Luna, my friend Francisco, and my pops. All right, looks like our adventure is about to really get going, and you can and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see gold Goldmouth Return Port pop up on the screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're, defeated, if you're defeated in battle, you will be returned to the last landmark that you visited. All rest has, has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press this, that, or that to bring up quick explanation of the control scheme. That is for battle controls. Okay, I need to remember that. That is for camera controls. Well, left is battle, up is camera, and... Right is field. So I'm about to take a look at the battle controls again. All right. So to switch the blade, oh, I guess I only have one blade right now. Um. Wait, so there are different chain attacks. Okay. Field, let me see these field controls. Blur, enemy with that. Move character with L, yep, obviously. Skip travel with X, auto run with Y, confirm slash draw weapon with A, can't. Okay, so jump with B. Alright, so how do I get out? Oof. Hey. Okay, so current objective. Where am I going? Am I talking to this guy? Hi there. Rex, my boy. This snow pond here just arrived to a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the, cent the central exchange is inside Goldmouth just after you enter the ship, but he doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to uh, Lemore Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. What's my current objective? I don't remember. Let, let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First, I'll explain the regular view. See the arrow is pointing to right now? That That's the compass. The mark on the red... The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. The digits above the mark on uh, the digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. If Rex's destination is higher than his current position, then you'll see a little arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it's at a lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the mark. Wait, so. Next up, let's take a look at the environmental information that the arrow mark is pointing to right now. This will key you into info about your immediate surroundings, like the weather, time of day, and so on. Next, the mini map. You can next the mini map. You can use this to get to. You, you can use this to get a quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. <clears throat> the yellow marker in the middle shows Rex's current location and the direction he's facing. Push L to switch between a full screen or mini map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to make their way through all this all rest without using the mini map. Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might expect, this tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle with its visibility with ZR. So take a look at if you're ever unsure of what to do next. 
Right now, it's telling you to go and pay a visit to Malolo at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Look around, meh. Alright, so how many people are watching? So we got four watching now. Current objective talk to Melo at Argentum Central Stage. Um. Wait, so where is that arrow pointing to? How do I pull up that mini map? Hey! Go away! How do I get rid of that? Um, I'm gonna just do that for now. If I wanna get rid of it. Oh, mini map, yeah, that. So I guess I have to go over here. And arrived. Hello, you are okay. Yeah, I did it. Wait, so I, I just got to the landmark, I guess. Let me talk to you. Looks like a weird little creature, person, thing. Whatever it is, I don't really know. What? That's it. It's life, man. There's still more than I give to non-friend. Mm. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Okay. Oh, it's shame. Reg's good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. What is that thing? Anywho, where were we? So I'm trying to off. sell stuff. Two hundred now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village is right. Yeah. Is beautiful thing. Sending money home at such young age. I touched. Dang, this Wish thing don't know how to talk that much. Did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. So he's like a salvager for a living, I guess. You got a reward, yes. What's up? Explore Argentum. Alright. Location, Argentum Bazaar. What the heck? Okay. Oh, so we got one of those little things Hello, with Rex. bodyguards. Hello, Rex. What's your name? Been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no. How say? Yes. Pepe. Been worse. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Hey, Something give me a new like job. Ah, oh, yeah, in Zelda Breath of the Wild, there was a DLC pack that you can um, get um, yes. Rex's costume, actually. And I, yeah, I think that's, that's actually right. pretty cool how Link can go else? around looking at looking like Rex. Straight to boardroom of chairman. It'd be cool if he can Wait, have his um, sword. Chairman Banner, ask for Rex by name. Okay. The chairman. For me. Okay. So, where am I going? Honeycomb. Alright, so. Hold up a second. Before I forget, I should probably explain how to control the camera. The camera has two modes manual and auto. Use manual mode, just use R to point the camera in whichever direction you like. If you press R while the camera's in manual mode, the camera will hone in on Rex's back and follow him around. This is what we call auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom down. Hold down L and move up R to adjust camera height, or up and down to adjust zoom. <clears throat> if you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed. So give it a try. Okay. So do we need to collect stuff? Is that it? Hmm. Wait, what is this? Honeycomb, sweets, bonbon, accessories. What, what you got here? I don't think I should be wasting time right now. Okay. I don't like that camera thing. I like the manual. Alright, so. Where. Alright, so. I should be heading over here. Whiteside salvaging. Okay. Let me talk to this guy, my boy Max. You know, my boy? Hi there. I can't get over the fact that you're providing for your village at such a young age, Rex. It's really admirable. You're probably heading out for a bit of salvaging after this, aren't you? Well, be careful how you go. Thanks. Okay. So, where am I going? Where do I gotta go? 
Hmm. Salvage deck. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I need to go up? Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh, yeah, I can jump. I forgot. Let me talk to you, bro. No, no, no. Salvager is so cool. L Lamuli? Lamuli wish could also do salvaging work instead of just guard job, but L Lamuli suppose is not so bad just gazing at it cloud scene. Okay. Yeah, not that bad. What should I do? I don't know. Toter, look like look at the value, half value. Toter are trying to study history from salvaged artifacts. Have you heard anything interesting lately? No one really knows if salvaged goods really used in the way they describe today. Good example is giant's black ring. Look like ring for very giant finger, but then what happened to giant? Wow, pretty impressive. It pick your imagination. Know everything's so interesting. All right. Mmm. I want to head over to like. There's that pink dot. Um. Can I go in there? Hmm. What? How? What in the world do I do? Oh, wait. I should go up here. Uh, maybe? Hmm. Alright, yeah. I need. I gotta go here. What in the world is Thank that? Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. He he doesn't really even know what to do. Me here from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. Okay. That being case, I have dinsy wincy thing to ask. Hey, I got a job for monies. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is Dang. 100,000 gold. Whoa. 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Whoa. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. Whoa. That's 200, a lot of money. 200,000 gold in total. Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. Okay. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details. Yeah, what if you're like risking oh, your life out there right. or something? Like, what um, if you're about to die? What kind of job is it? You really have skills for this. Of course, I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Okay. Bring them in. Sir. Okay, so who's coming in? Wait, what in the world? Oh! Most those people I saw in the trailer. I forgot their names. But, eh. Wait, what is that robot looking thing? Person with the wolf. Emo looking dude. And a cat looking guy. Oh, wait, nope. Drives He's evil, I know. And blades. What the Whoa, heck? That looks so cool. What in the so world? There's something that we want to haul up. Kind of reminds me of that dude from Kingdom Hearts. Ships. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Okay. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That when Banner have stroke of genius should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. Yes, you did, because I'm about to take all your money. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're going to have to hire some babysitters for this outing. Dang, lady, don't be like that. You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. Uh, what well. are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Domark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you. it, Nia. Though I do see your point. 
In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. Whoa. Oh dang, I'm, I'm attacking them. Wait, but why am I attacking them? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Dang, my weapon sucks. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? Huh, Malos. You said it Bad. yourself. Malo. You? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Hmm. Gramp showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. So, I guess that well, titan that, that, that I had taught me guts stuff. Too. Kid, you better work hard. I will work hard, and then I'm gonna beat your butt. Yeah, I need a better sword. So I guess those are drivers and swords? What is it? It's like a white cat lion. It's like a white lion. Mad, mad, mad! Friends are such rowdy bunch. Whoa. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Okay, I will. Anna has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. All right, so I'm about to go buy some stuff, you guys. Seems pretty cool. All right, right then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first off, I should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off and if I just took off on some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me I can eh, later when I came back. I better head down the stairs and back to Goldmouth Return Port. Okay. I want these weapons. You got the advance payment, 100,000 gold. Let me confirm this. Illuminati confirmed. All right, guys, I'm so excited for this. Guys, this game, I can I can tell it's going to be amazing. It's going to be like an amazing let's play like we did of Mario Odyssey, but probably even better. All right. So, next objective, go go talk to Gramps in Goldmouth Return Port. All right. So, where is my Gramps? Where's this dude? Like old mouth for turn port. Where's that? Is it over here? I think it's here. Is it here? I don't know. Where's this gold mouth for turn port? Oh wait, let me just, I forgot I can use that thing. That's on the top of the screen. So let's just kind of adventure around here. Oh yeah, I think it's over here. Okay. Where is it? Okay, he's over there. Nice. I, f I found him. It's a legendary Pokemon, you guys. Look at him. Let me talk to Gramps. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Yeah, you better take a nap, old hey, Gramps man. Come back here, will you? Rex! Now that I've got Gramps' permission about, just about, I better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend, that is sure an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting edge salvaging suit, but no, I can't splurge this all at once. The folks back home need this money more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head to Sh Shanini's accessories. Always best to be prepared for anything. I might end up fighting a crust dip like on my last salvage. Okay. All right, is this set as an active quest? Yes, it is an active quest. 
You accepted a quest. There are two types of quests. Regular quests and ones that are part of the main story. You'll need to complete the main story quest to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is shown on the compass as a pink exclamation mark icon. A word of warning here, the pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you said a quest is active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a well-seasoned veteran, but rookie adventures, like me, would do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinary quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation mark icon to get to the next destination. All rest is full of people who could use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily, since they'll have a blue question mark icon above their heads. If you speak to them, they'll usually open up to you about their problems and requests. Some, some kind of help. These are the regular quests that I mentioned earlier. I'm sure if you manage to solve their problems, they'll give you some kind of reward for your trouble. Well, alright guys, that is the end of this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it, the beginning of this journey. I know I did. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.